Welcome to the IQ Feed Web Help videos. My name is Curtis Thompson and today we'll be discussing how to connect multi-charts charting software to IQ Feed to collect data and build charts for you. To start, go ahead and open up multi-charts and make sure that you have IQ Feed installed. Then we need to open up the quote manager, which you can do from either this icon or you can go up to File, New, Quote Manager window. And then within the Quote Manager, we'll need to go up to the Data Sources, or open up the Data Sources window. To do that, we can do it either under Tools, Data Sources, or we can click on this icon here for Data Sources directly. Once the Data Source window opens, we'll need to configure and set IQ feed for your login and password. So as you can see, here's all the available data sources that Multicharts can connect to. We want to select IQ feed and then click on settings. Within the settings window, make sure to enter in your login and password exactly as you received it in the email. If it is entered incorrectly here, it will not allow you to log in properly. The other th thing that you will want to keep an eye on is under the historical and real-time data options. Both of these we generally recommend having unchecked due to how multi-charts will communicate to the servers. With the historical one, the, if this one is checked marked, you'll actually only receive 120 days of historical data for minute and daily bars as if this is checked, it will build your minute and daily bars off of tick data rather than pulling our minute and end of day data. So once those are two are unchecked, go ahead and hit OK, and then click on Close. From here, what you'll want to do is start adding in the symbols that you'll want to look at. So for our example, we'll go ahead and delete our at ES pound and re-add it to show you. We'll delete that symbol. To add a new symbol in, go ahead and just right click anywhere within this portion of multi-charts. Go down to add symbol from data source. And as you can see, the only option that we currently have is IQ feed. When you go to data source, chances are you'll have many other options of data sources in here. But make sure that you do select IQ feed. When you select IQ feed, you'll get the insert symbols into portfolio dash IQ feed symbol search. To look up a symbol, you'll want to make sure that you're in the correct tab for that symbol. So if you're looking for stocks, make sure that it is on the stock tab. Indexes, index tab. Future, future tab. And so on and so forth. Since we're going to re-add the S&P mini, we'll go to future tab. And we'll want to put in, and we want to have the continuous contract. So we'll type in at es pound and hit lookup. And what this is, what is, what this is doing is actually looking at the symbol list for the symbol that we're looking for, and it should show up here once it's found it, as you can see now. So we'll go ahead and select that symbol and then click on add and the symbol has been successfully added. Go ahead and hit OK and from here you can continue to enter in the symbols that you want without having to close it and reopen it. Once you're done adding in your symbols go ahead and hit close and as you can see we now have at ES pound relocated back in there. One other thing to keep in mind for loading symbols is our back adjusted continuous contracts. These symbols will have to be added manually rather than from the data source as they are not currently listed within our symbol list. So to add them manually, and we'll go ahead and do the Euro FX since we don't have the back adjusted one. So we'll go ahead and go down to right click and add symbol manually. And the symbol we're going to want is at EU pound C and we'll go ahead and capitalize it and we'll want futures the exchange is CME we'll 
which is right here, and then click on OK. Under the edit symbol, we'll have the symbol name, and the data source is obviously IQ feed, symbol name is at EU pound C, symbol root again is at EU pound C, description, the description you can name it anything that you would like it to be, so we'll label it Euro FX back adjusted continuous. The next thing is to go into your settings and make sure that these are set correctly. And generally they are if you select the correct exchange for them. And then under sessions, we'll also want to make sure that it is using the proper sessions. Many times we can come in here and adjust them if we need to, but for these we'll leave them as normal. So we'll go ahead and hit apply and OK. And as you can see, we now have the Euro back adjusted continuous contract. The next step is to make sure that the symbols are connected before you try and load a chart. So we'll go ahead and right click, we'll do the ES here, and right click on the ES, and then come down here to connect symbol. Once you can hit connect symbol, you should get over here under the collect RT data without plotting, it should say on rather than off. If it is showing off, it will not pull data in properly from IQ feed. So once it's turned on, from here you can go ahead and bring up a chart for that symbol and settings and so forth. And we'll actually discuss that in the a next another video for multi charts. If you do have any questions or problems getting configured and connecting to IQ feed, please contact us here in support and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.